Hello friends. So once again welcome to my channel. In this video we will see some numericals on memory interleaving. The concept of memory interleaving is already discussed where from the linear arrangement of my memory addresses the content will be stored in conjugative modules or conjugative locations content will be stored in the same module. This how we have divided the content in the various modules that we have discussed in the last video. So now we will solve some problems using those concepts. So see here the numerical is find the block transfer time. We are we need to find out the block transfer time of one interleaved memory. That means the interleaving concept is there where the modules are divided to accommodate even an odd numbered words of block. That means in your memory there will be two modules. One module will hold all the odd addresses and another module will hold all the even addresses. Let's say this is even, this is odd, right? Because numbering will start from zero. Zero is an even number. So even and odd numbered words are stored, right? And each block contains four words. Our block size is four words, right? It is given. The address transfer time is two nanosecond. And the first word access time is four nanosecond. Conjugative word access time is three nanosecond. And data transfer time is 1 nanosecond. All these components are given to us. Basically, we need to transfer 4 words from my memory to the cache memory. So, to do that, we need to provide the address to the module. So, for that, we require 2 nanosecond. Then, we need to get the 4 words from the 2 modules. So, each module will contribute to 2 words because they are working in parallel. So the first word accessing time is what? 4 nanosecond, they have said. So after the gap of 4 nanosecond, two words will come from two memory modules, correct? And then they will be sent to the cache memory. How much time they are taking? 1 nanosecond, 1 plus 1, right? And during that time, whatever is here in my that data buffer registers, whenever it is transferred to the cache, one after the another, during that time, the next word accessing from the modules have started. So, after the gap of 3 nanosecond, another 3 nanosecond, the next word from the memory modules will come. And during that 3 nanosecond time, whenever it is bringing the second word from each of the module, during that time, whatever first word we have brought, that will be transferred to the cache memory. Two things will be going on in parallel, right? So, this much time is consumed whenever we are transferring the block from the memory to the cache. So, see here I have drafted the solution. Block transfer time is address transfer time. I need to provide the address, memory access time and the time to transfer and the time to data transfer, I mean transfer the data to the cache memory, right? So, block transfer time here we have written it is address transfer time. It is given 2 nanosecond. This is fine. Then 4 nanosecond to get the first word from each of the modules. So at the end of 4 nanosecond, we will get two, one, one word from here. And then that will be transferred to the cache memory one by one, taking one, one nanosecond. Whenever this work is going on, that means the transferring of uh, the data to the cache memory. At the same time, we have started getting the next word from the modules. This can be done in parallel. So after the gap of 3 nanosecond, these are already received by the cache memory and the next two words from the two modules are accessed, right? And then what else is left? We need to send them to the cache memory. These two will come after the gap of 3 nanosecond. That will be there in your buffer registers, right? From there, we will transfer it to the cache memory. One will take 1 nanosecond, another will take another 1 nanosecond. Now the point is, why I have not written 1 plus 1 after this 4? Because whenever the second word was a reading, the second word reading was going on, during that time, the first word that we have brought from the memory will be sent to the cache memory. So these two things are going on in parallel. So in this 3, in this 3 nanosecond, we are getting the second word from the memory and the first two words from each of the module will be transferred to the cache. 
so this is there doing two things right in parallel after that we need to send this data to the cache memory it will take one nanosecond and here i have nothing to do in parallel so i have to take it separately one plus one right so total time is 11 nanosecond so see four nanosecond taken to access the first word from each of the modules that means two words will be read right and three nanosecond is taken to access the second word from each of the modules that means next two words will be read that means what now my block is read from the memory i need to transfer it so during the same time that means within this three nanosecond the previously accessed two words will be transferred to the cache and it will be taking one nanosecond so one plus one that is two that is going on in parallel with three nanosecond so we are not showing that calculation separately but after the second word we re we get from the memory modules then we need to transfer them one after the another each taking one one nanosecond so after this the second word from each of the module will be transferred to the cache so it is one plus one right so see in this numerical this part is clear and if it was not interleaved memory then how much time it will take if it is not interleaved memory then two nanosecond to give the address then four nanosecond to get the uh, to get the first byte and then uh, to get the first word and then how many more are there three into three right so this three into three whenever this time is going on that time whatever i have uh, got it here that will be transferred to the cache whenever second word is brought that will be simultaneously sent with the third word reading and the third word reading uh, means will be transferred to the cache with the fourth word reading right so it will be in parallel it will be taken but whenever the last word will arrive right when the last word will arrive for that i require one more uh, nanosecond so that is one so this much time will be taken if it is not an interleaved memory that means only a single memory module is there so only one data will be accessed right and one more point here it is given a first word is four nanosecond next one will be at three nanosecond why this is so for that we have seen our one memory design where consecutive location content will be there in the same row so row decoding will take place one then the whole data is there in our row buffer now from here we need to get the data by giving the column address so only column address decoding is required so first word accessing requires this row selection as well as column but next words onwards it requires only column address selection due to that that is three nanosecond right so this much is there in this video then in the next video we will solve one more numerical of this type only hope you are getting from my explanations then please uh, do not forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.